welcome back to Southeast by Midwest Beauty and today we are going to be talking about the Sephora um, Too Faced Christmas in New York exclusive. This one is the Chocolate Shop. Now this set comes with the, if you look on the back, the little unfold, the unfolding display that you can just kind of fold out somewhere which will be on display once I get this set up all the way. It also comes with a deluxe size sample of the Better Than Sex Mascara, a deluxe size sample of the Shadow Insurance, a deluxe of the Melted Lipstick, um, Chocolate Lipstick in Chocolate Milkshake, and it comes with a highlighter called Inner Light, a bronzer, which is their famous Chocolate Soleil bronzer, and a blush, which I believe is new to this set, Chocolate Covered Strawberry. And then it comes with 21 eyeshadows in different shades, and they all are scented um, with chocolate. Even the lipstick is scented with chocolate. I have never tried one of the melted chocolate lipsticks before, but it is scented like chocolate. And it does have, when you open it up, I'm already taking it out just to make it easier, but there is one of the little, if you've ever gotten one of the chocolate bar palettes, there is one of the little... Uh, brochure things in there to tell you you know different looks and stuff like that and obviously you might be a little intimidated by these looks but you would actually blend those that's just kind of just to show you so once you pull it out this is what it looks like and I just love that. Um, this was I believe $58 as you see the top comes out it flips down you do have the little scene um, they are walking on Fifth Avenue. I'm sure you have seen this on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, all these places. So anyway, um, she's carrying a little Sephora bag. I think that is so cute. So your shadow insurance, your mascara, and your melted lipstick are all right here at the top. I'm not going to open the shadow insurance or the mascara right yet just because I actually have um, a full-size uh, Better Than Sex mascara that I'm already using and I have a sample one that I keep in my purse so and once you open it it's kind of your expiration starts ticking and with mascaras that can be very you, you know you don't want that to go too bad too fast and I have found with the shadow insurance because I have gotten the samples before if you open it too soon and you go to use it later you will kind of um, get water it will get watery so, but I will show you this because it is what I'm wearing on my lips. I did film a little chit chat, get ready with me. If you kind of want to see that, most of the products that I'm using right now are uh, Too Faced products. So I did not do that intentionally. It wasn't until afterwards when I was like, wait a minute, because I actually went in, I wasn't originally going to do just straight Too Faced. For example, I initially had this blush on, which is the Dior. Uh, Diamond Rose looks like this you've probably seen it on my channel before or on my blog love this thing but I think it is discontinued but when I opened this because I was going to use this for the eyeshadows um, it was like okay I forgot that that blush was in there I really want to try that blush so I kind of layered it over that and it actually turned out really really gorgeous okay so this is the Too Faced Melted Chocolate lipstick in chocolate milkshake as you know if you probably already know and obviously I put this on during my little get ready with me so now it has product on it but um, it has a little fabricy doe foot that is what it looks like it does smell like chocolate I did not realize that and the formula is really creamy they're not like matte it's kind of like a satin it feels like a really good lipstick I will say that I actually enjoy this over the regular melted lipsticks. I have the, I have so many of the, what is it, the melted peony one running around that it is, um, it's ridiculous. So, uh, I actually prefer this one over all those other samples that I have. All right, so now we're gonna move down to the actual palette itself. And as you can see, it's kind of stuck in there. And it has this little thing over here that you could try to like get your finger in. I don't know if you could see that. It's that little divot. And you can try to get your finger in there and pull it out. I find that that doesn't always work. Sometimes I have to lift the top 
across and then use that to kind of unwedge it from the styrofoam, which is good because it means it's not going to go anywhere. So it means it's not when you hold it up to do a YouTube video, it's not going to go flying out. I have had that happen before. Um, there was this little glittery, or glittery, this clear thing over the eyeshadows, which has picked up some of the glitter from my, uh, where I take my photos, because that's where I sat it. So this is Cocoa Powder Infused Eyeshadow Palette. There are 18 uh, smaller eyeshadows. There are three big eyeshadows, a highlighter, a bronzer, and a blush, according to the back. So you open it up, and over here on the side, you have your blush, your bronzer, and your highlight is up on the top. Your three bigger ones are Desserts on Me, Glaze, and Banana Date. And then you have your smaller shadows. Like I said, I am going to insert swatches here of these, but just to show you, that is the highlight. Chocolate Soleil is the bronzer. You've probably seen this everywhere. And Chocolate Covered Strawberry is the blush. And oh my god, it is gorgeous. But it, I am actually wearing the highlight and the blush. I'm not wearing the bronzer. Um, if I do put up the Get Ready With Me, you'll see that what bronzer that I used. But for the eyeshadows for this, I really did, I kind of started with just in the crease and I used Chocoholic in the crease, which is this one right here. And then I was kind of trying to, to decide what I wanted to do. So I decided I wanted to go in with Raspberry Rose, just all over the lid. And then I went in with Pound Cake, just kind of on the back portion, and then kind of blended them together a little bit to where so it wasn't so stark that there was a line there. And that's really all I did. I did not want to go any more in depth than that. You really could have with all these colors. You could have created just so much, but like this sugared plum is just gorgeous. This huckleberry just has me kind of all kind of ways. Just look at that. Hang on. Flippy clues. Look at that. Love it. So I can't wait to get in here and actually play with it some more. Um, from what I have felt of the of the products and from what I have used. I absolutely am loving this palette. Everything, it blends very well. It still stays behind. I have some eyeshadows where I have uh, used them. I've put them on. I've gone to blend, and they just kind of blend away. I'm not saying that that's Too Faced eyeshadows, but I have had that problem with eyeshadows. So, and I know that for, like, holiday releases, some companies tend to kind of phone it in. Now, I will say that some of these do look familiar. I do not know if they are all um, exclusive to this set. I will actually do more research on that and I will put that in the blog post. So I will have all that kind of information in the blog post. That is my thing on that. I really do feel like if you go to Sephora and they have this on display, swatch the shadows and see for yourself if they are exclusive to this palette or there are quite a few that are exclusive to this palette I would suggest buying it I do believe that the chocolate covered strawberry blush is exclusive to this palette or new in this palette while I don't think it's worth the $58 price tag by itself if you like the overall look of this I do feel like that having that blush is really really great because it is a good blush it is actually one of the reasons why I wanted to get it and I just stuck my fingernail in one of them ah. um, so when you see the swatches because I am going to cut those in probably right here There's desserts on me at the top there in the middle which didn't really show up is glaze and the bottom one there is banana date These three the one there at the top which is kind of blending in with my skin is raspberry rose the one in the middle with the shimmer is sugar to raisin and the bottom one there the kind of light brown shade is cake batter 
These shades are absolutely gorgeous. The top one there is Butterscotch. The middle one there is Sugar Bells. And the bottom one is Mint Chip. Gorgeous. Now these are a little, especially the bottom one is a little harder to see, but the top shimmer right there is Indulge. That middle one, which is a brown shade, is Cookie Dough. And that bottom one there, which is really blending it with my skin, is Guilt Free. Okay, the top one there is Tootsie, which does actually kind of look like a Tootsie Row. That one there in the middle, that gold, is stunning. That is Ginger Doodle. And the bottom brown shade there is Chocoholic. That is actually what I was wearing in my crease in the video. I'm loving the bottom two on this one. The one there on the top is Toffee Crunch. The black with the little reflex of like pink in it is Lava Cake and the gold is Honey Dip. And the last three up at the top is Pound Cake. That's what I was wearing on my lid. Jingle Berry and then Huckleberry. And those are the last three shadows. Overall, this is a really great palette. Like I said, it's just personal preference if it's worth the $58. It was worth the $58 to me. I really wanted it. I'm actually planning on getting a couple of the other pieces of the Christmas collection once they kind of launch so, or a little bit closer to Christmas. I just wanted to get this one right now because it was an exclusive. I would have gotten the Ulta exclusive, which is the macaron one, which is um, scented like vanilla. But they are not releasing their set until a little closer. I want to say from the email that I got about the Becca palette uh, for Platinum Perk, I want to say that they will be releasing it probably towards the end of October. Do not quote me on that. But the Becca palette said that it was going to be um, exclusive to Platinum Perk for September 16th. And it would show up in the stores, I want to say, like in late September and then in, uh, or it would show up online in late September and then on, um, in the actual physical stores on October 20th. But I'm not for sure. So I'm thinking that might be how they're going to do the Too Faced collection as well, but I don't know. So... I did tweet them. They say they said stay tuned closer to the holidays when they retweeted me back or when they tweeted when they replied back. So, you know, I'm keeping my eyes out and I will let you know on social media as soon as I see it as available. So make sure you're following me on the social media that is linked down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this kind of overview slash first impression of the Too Faced Christmas in New York the Chocolate Shop Sephora Exclusive. <laughs> that is a mouthful. Um, if you like these kind of little videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it. I love it when you share the videos. It is actually a great help and support to me. Make sure you're following me on the social media link down below and the blog so that you'll know when, those, uh, when that Ulta Exclusive hits because I will put it out on probably at least my Facebook page. But I'll probably put it out on Twitter as well. I may put it out on Instagram with just a stock photo. Don't know. So make sure you're following me there. And until next time, bye.